strengths. The Revolt technology is uh, rechargeable, which makes it cost effective and is a benefit to consumers. Uh, currently, many products require a lot of batteries and don't uh, have a long, long uh, battery life. They're also safer, uh, three times uh, more powerful and half the cost uh, to produce as uh, the current lithium uh, batteries. It's uh, won a number of awards, including the uh, Go and Green Top 100, and has been named as a, a global clean tech uh, 100 company by the Guardian newspaper in the UK. It's provided positive uh, media recognition, uh, which is important for the consumer awareness of the product. There's a number of target markets that Revolt are going to aim for. These uh, they aim to provide batteries for mobile phones, laptops, uh, PDAs, digital cameras, and camcorders. Also look at military technology, uh, the industrial electronics, medical products and uh, the power tools market. The main aim is to go into the electric vehicle market. These will include hybrid cars, electric cars, marine engines. All these uh, markets that were estimated to be worth $8.6 billion in 2008. One of the main strengths of the Revolt company is their strong uh, management team. They have many uh, experienced members of the board over three continents. The zinc supplies in the world are more abundant and cost effective to, to mine as well as the battery being a, a non-toxic material. Revolt Technology has already created uh, many jobs in the, the locations that they've set themselves up already um, and will continue to, to provide jobs. The technology that Revolt are using has uh, failed to break the, the market barriers before but uh, they've developed uh, an improved uh, system that uh, will now allow the battery to become rechargeable. Weaknesses. Yeah, the challenge that they'll face will be the, the many competitors and uh, alternatives there are. There will also need to implement a new uh, infrastructure to convince uh, the world that it's actually feasible and that they can bring it to the market. Opportunities. The main opportunity for Revolve is the fact that there is huge market potential for this product. Furthermore, specialist markets are within Revolve's reach. The product has strong health applications, such as use for hearing aids, as well as use in military electronics. These markets combined were worth almost $9 billion in 2008. Threats. In terms of threats, they are entering a highly competitive market, so that means that they may struggle to meet high demand in the early stages if they grow quickly. The battery will therefore have to compete with other products, such as a lithium air battery, which look very convincing on paper. Political. Firstly, it is being backed by numerous governments, uh, and more notably political people, including the government of Oregon where their US headquarters is based. Being established in a five different countries could mean political problems if these countries do not get along. However, uh, all these countries it is based in um, are known for their economic power, um, which will lead to the next point. Economical. Revolt is a going green top 100 company, recognized for game-changing technology and market value. It offers jobs, as explained before, and it's had major investment Minus the $30 million it's had from the US Department of Energy, it's had over $24 million from other investors. Plus, Revolt has signed a contract with Phonak to supply rechargeable coin cell batteries for hearing aids. Social. Revolt is a high energy solution benefiting everyone who invests. An important social factor is that it is safe, meaning non flammable and recyclable. Revolt can be found on Guardian's top 100 clean tech companies, making it more well known to the masses. It is also a cost effective solution for the customer and Revolt themselves. Technological. Revolt has developed a metal air battery that overcomes the above barriers and such it represents a significant leap in technology. Rechargeable zinc air batteries have more than twice as much energy as conventional lithium batteries. Revolt's prototype for consumer electronics delivers more power longer lifetime, higher rechargeability, and much more compact size. Continuously bring new products with bigger and brighter color displays, camera and gaming functions, and high-speed communications. These applications become more, more sophisticated, they consume more energy, which drives the need for a new generation of portable battery. Revolt Technologies new rechargeable Tsinger battery will replace today's lithium technology to meet energy needs of a new generation of electronic devices. Environmental. Revolt products may have a few environmental problems. Internal membranes of, of their batteries may rupture and vent liquids and gas to the atmosphere. Urban battery litter rates as high as 215 batteries per, per hectare of pavement. On average, 75% of these batteries are leaking. 
However, they are 100% recyclable. With, with melting temperature of 150 degrees, zinc does not require a lot of heat, and that it means that it's very environmentally friendly. Legal. Since October 1st, 1998, in Germany it has been forbidden to throw portable batteries out with domestic refuse after they are spent. The new battery ordinance obligates manufacturers and importers to take back all used batteries, sow them and dispose them. Under the mandatory reporting on greenhouse gases in the US, owners and operators of facilities that contain zinc production processes must report all their emissions to the government. From the 1st February in 2010, in UK, distributors of portable battery accumulators will have to provide an install battery take-back facility for any members of the public who has some batteries to dispose of. Finally, Ripple's production technology has been patented in order to maintain their market potential. Mm -hmm.